Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Lunar Nebula Art with me, Jelanon. Here's the head of our character that is in a Fire Emblem style. I did change the stroke around the eyes. I got rid of the gray stroke around the sclera, the white part of the eye, and added the black stroke around the iris. So that's a thing. And then, yeah, today we're going to try to flat out the body. Maybe the spear as well. We might make it a glaive, actually. I looked up some glaives, and I kind of like the sword spear glaive design. We'll see. We'll see. Because I'm thinking of maybe a little bit crazier of a spear design than this current one. So, yeah. For now, though, we're actually going to use the Apple Pencil more today, I think. I'm going to try it anyway. So I've made a new layer for the vector layer underneath the head. So we can start. And then I have the pen tool selected. I've got Sculpt on there. It's a one pixel stroke with a black stroke and it'll have a red fill. And the idea is our stabilizer will help us draw a little more smoothly. And hopefully that is all together. What I'm gonna do is then use the node tool. I'm gonna to try to just close that, I think. Or we can do join. Nah, close. Since this is one curve, it's not two curves. I'm gonna to try to just close. Join is when you join other curves together. And you know what? You can just do this sort of thing. There might be a better way to do this, but for now, that's working. And as you can see, I do not have the <laughs> most stable of hands, so I may need to play around with the stabilizer more. But for now, we're just kind of roughing out the body parts and everything, and I'll take it. So we've got that, and now we can keep making more stuff. Let's get the pencil tool again. Alright, so we've got a neck. Let's try, I'm trying to zoom out a bit. We want to keep our hand loose as much as we can. Try doing something like this for the body. All right. And that's gonna show up in front of the neck. As we can see here, we got these nodes again. We'll do close there. And now it has made that one whole curve. If I undo that, I'm gonna try to just select this. As you can see, that stroke doesn't close there. So I'm gonna to try to select both those and then click close. And then if we want to, we can delete one of these. Except they might actually like that breastplate sticking out that far. So we'll see. I don't know, that little jagged edge might be annoying, it might not be. But now we'll keep it. Okay, back to the pencil tool. Yeah, and I'm thinking we will try to go for armor more like Hector's up here, which is a little bit more simple. It's mostly plate armor that covers the important bits. You know, important bits are important. So let's see. Hmm. Well, let's turn that off real fast. We'll also turn off Ephraim. Yeah, since we went with Ellawood's head, let's try to keep with his body type as well. So there's one shoulder. Apparently it cut that into the previous curve. Okay. Let's go up here, maybe. Hmm. Try that again. There we go. Now it's separate. We can try doing something like that. Okay. Hmm. Select this tool again. Let's try to close that. Okay, and it's going from the end point to the start point there. Hmm. Okay. Well then, at this point it feels like it might be easier just to use the shape and then morph it from there. But yeah, I have much more to learn from this tool. It is faster if I can get used to it. Ah well, to the arm. Nope. 
but because we have sculpt selected, I can go from that last endpoint, go like that. Do something like this. And that way we have an easier method of making all these different parts. Now this sleeve I might change later, but for now we're going to keep it. As you can see, it made it all the way back here. Okay. Probably put the shoulder pad in front of it. Yep. Okay. So we've got that. Hmm. Let's maybe make a belt. Can't call it anime without a belt. It's just how it is. The more belts, the more anime it is. Okay, yeah, and as you can see there, not finished. Hmm. Okay, give me back the pencil tool. Hmm. Almost. Really doesn't want to connect. As you can see. Yeah, it just really doesn't want to connect. Hmm. Wonder if there's another thing I need to do there. Okay, let's close that curve. But yeah, when you have two separate curves, so let me show you. Pull this back up. So we've got this one and this one. If I click join, it's going to try to join those into one object. So that's the difference between close and join. And sometimes join is what you want to do. Like if you, let's say, Choose this, yoink, 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 and then you try to continue that. You accidentally make a second curve, you're like, oh no. But if we select this and that, and then join, aha, they are joined. Which, it looks terrible right here, but it's a thing you can do. Okay, so yeah, we're getting kind of the rough stuff laid out. Okay, we've got our belt right here. Hmm. Do I want a waistcoat on this character? Probably not. But for now, we're going to just use it for proportion's sake. And that could be armor, that could be whatever. For now, we'll just take it as is. And we'll start from this side. And get those pants. Oh, I forgot that. Hmm. Let's go for this one next. Okay. That'll kind of give us a better idea of where that leg is underneath the armor. We're going to move that back below. There we go. <laughs> it's above the other one, so you can see kind of that weird stroke stuff going on there, thanks to the layers. Okay. Let's get boots next. And then I don't know if we're going to go with this kind of boot or the other one. We shall see. And right now I have the rope stabilizer. Okay, I think at uh, 35. Okay. Now, select those, close, and then we delete that one. There we go. So now we have a wonky looking boot. Yay! But we can change it and make it better. Later. That's a lot of vector art, I think, is make something sloppy and then make it better. Okay. Actually, it's kind of art in a nutshell, really. Hmm. Let's get this next thing going. We got the arm. Kind of bent at the elbow here if we go with this. Except we're not going with this arm. What am I doing? Disc. All right, you. Come back, Ephraim. There he is. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do something like this. All right. 
I'm gonna move that back into here. Look. Oh yeah, that's a wonky arm, all right. But we'll make it better. Okay. Then let's just try to get the hand motion correct. There's one finger. And as you can see, it is trying to sculpt with that previous thing, so... Let's try to do this instead. Okay. Delete those nodes. Join these two. And by join, I mean close. Okay. So we did that. Okay. And what we may want to do is just copy and paste whenever we can. All right. We'll move you to the top. There we go. Move you to the bottom. And you should be second. Okay. All right. We can try to make the spear as well. So this time we're not going to use the pencil. Let's just go ahead and make the rectangle. If it'll let me. Here we go. All right. Delete that one. But this one, we want to make the proper length. Okay. Look. And we may make it shorter than this, honestly. Hmm. For now, I'll make it right about here. This is one reason I'm thinking of doing a glaive, is because we could put a nice little spike or something at the end there. I'm thinking of a star shape, actually, uh, that we can use against the hair. Okay. I'm going to angle that a little bit different. Oop. Okay, it's still not where this one is. Let's try that. That's better. Okay. So now we've got that. Then we could either use the pen tool for this shape, which I am thinking we should do. Something like that. Hmm. I'll try to delete that extra point later. We can manipulate that curve. And then we can also decide whether or not we want something like that in the future. Alright, so we closed that spear. And then we're going to definitely adjust these nodes. So I'm going to try to hold one finger down there so that we can independently adjust this one. Alright. And then the question becomes, do we like the way that spearhead looks? Because we can certainly change it and stuff. Also, you should be a sharp node over here. There we are. And I can delete that. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. Then we go back to our pen tool. Use the fill. Now we've got that. Combine these into the sphere shape. All this is kind of already combined into a layer already. So that's nice. Yeah. Hmm, still need another foot. But if we want to be cheap, and maybe save time, yoink. Flip. And then we can adjust that. Okay. Ta da! A janky foot. Okay. Let's maybe make it a little less chinky. All right. Hmm. So we can think about that. Oh yeah. I think I like Ella Wood's left foot here better. That is his left, not mine. Okay. Yeah. And then we want another arm. Don't want to forget that arm. Okay. Yeah, let's make a nice little 
vector brush here, and you can actually use the pencil tool with your hand. Like I am using my finger right here, not with the Apple Pencil. In fact, that might be better. <laughs> Yoink. Oop. Okay, it wants to join with that one. But we will not let it. Boink. There. Join that. Delete that. Join those two, or close those two. There we go. Alright, so there's the beginning of our pose. As you can tell, it's not much to look at yet. So we're going to try to make that better. Yeah. Maybe there'll be some ambient light that'll add some rim light to here later. For now, we're not going to worry about it too much. That'll be like a details video or something. Yep, I haven't even done the ear yet in detail. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe there'll be a breastplate, maybe a backplate. More like Hector, you know? Make it look like it's actually moving around. Maybe. It's probably too much. Yeah, we'll do something like this. Like, maybe he just moved his leg over. Okay. And this will go above that leg. Yeah, I think we want shoulder pads as well. And then we can mask this later, I think. Yeah. And then we'll see what we can do about that with shading and just having the arm cover it a bit. All right, and we can have a little bit of a shirt ruffle here. So you guys know I like to do the three points in order to have a bend and stuff there. Yeah, I think we're liking that. Clearly this belt needs to go further. All right, dear viewer, I've taken some time away from the camera to do some more flats and rearrange some things. I'm thinking actually after looking at other characters online, I might go with Joshua's kind of coat. I'm still uncertain what I'm going to do about gauntlets, or just gloves, or just not worrying about it. I don't know. We'll see. But I like Ella Wood's kind of shirt, and yeah, I'm thinking we'll go with that. Pretty much every Fire Emblem character has a cloak, at least in these pictures. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go for a cloak. I think I like the coat well enough already. Oh yeah, so there's a spear. I think I'm going to call it Seretwin after one of the crones of wisdom in mythology and yeah 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 we'll uh, we'll see how things go for now though let's get started on making things different colors so for the armor i'm thinking this stuff is going to be kind of this darker purple i think 
That's supposed to be a shade color. Maybe. We'll go with just normal purple for now. Yeah. Okay. And this is just the flats, so I don't care too much about details or any other extra colors right now. We just want to make sure we have an overall idea of what we're going for. Now, I was thinking the shirt would be purple. So maybe we'll do that as well. Hmm. And I do have multiple torsos on here, so if I get rid of that one. Yeah. Do I like that one better? Than that one. No. In fact, I may just combine them. So to do that, we go up here, add, bam. We got the best of both worlds, I think. All right. So let's choose the flaps of the cloak slash coat. Okay, and these will be purple. Okay. This back flap, is it showing? No, that's an old flap. Get rid of that. All right. And then for this arm and the other arm, I think we'll go with purple as well. For the pauldrons. Hmm. Or shoulder pads or shoulder armor, whatever you really want to call them. Do we want to make them purple? Do we want to make them blue? Hmm. For now, let's get this color. And then we'll do that for the pants as well. We do want to keep a lot of contrast between the face and the stuff there. Alright, that's a little too dark. Now the boots, I'm thinking we may not keep them black. We may make them brown, like the hair. I don't know. Because normally, like when you look at these other characters, the boots and the rest of the armor are different colors than the hair. Generally speaking, the hair is pretty unique looking, except for like an Ike's. Hmm. Intriguing. So maybe we won't care too much. All right. So for you, let's try black for now, I suppose. And this one. Ah, this was supposed to be above that one. There we go. And then this flap was supposed to be above that. And you, we want it to be purple. There we go. Same with you. All right. And this boot. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go with this and this. Mm-hmm. Make both of them. I take it back to black. Okay. So we've got some black boots for now. That matches with our avatar pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are going to want, like, maybe a darker purple armor. Contrast is the key to making metal look good. So we'll see about that. But for now, yeah. The belt is leather. So this is probably going to be a dark brown. And dark brown is kind of just a darker orange, really. So we might go with something like that. Yeah, for now. And then for the buckles, I'm actually kind of liking their current color. We may just go with that for now. Okay. For the spear shaft, let's go for a gray. For you, we'll make you a lighter gray, so we can add all those nice details later. Uh, for the star, same light gray. There we are. And the pommel thing, light gray. Okay. Yeah, I think this will do for now. So that's kind of how we're going to flat out the character. And then... For now, I think we're going to make the hands just skin color. Like, 
I did want to have a gauntlet at first for this hand, which is why it looks like armor right now. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll mess around with both of that as an idea. Hmm. For now, you guys, skin color. And anything else we need to work on? Yep. Yoink. Okay. Alright, so we can kind of see the shape of this thing. And it's looking alright. Hmm. And then we do have the underparts of the armor that are going to be in shadow as this kind of dark red color. We'll worry about that, I think, at a later date. So leave a like if you've enjoyed this episode of Fire Emblem Avatar creation on Lunar Nebula Art. Leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below on what kind of color schemes you like. And have a great day, dear viewer.